actually an interesting term because it somehow um, describes from from a music point of view a way how music can like um, like take you with um, the music so how it affects your bodily motions so a groove um, in musicology is something like if a music is groovy it means that uh, a music has the capacity to um, uh, in ignite motion in the listener or in and so and for me groove is interesting because I'm I'm wondering like how can movement do that so is there groove also in dancing and is also the same um, uh, function also in like the visible the visible groove in a way so it's about um, like how are you engaged and how are you basically taken by the movement so my PhD is about um, group dynamics and why is it easier to dance together than alone and um, and so it was for me like how is m the movement in in a space supporting um, your own movement and your mo movement generation. So and then later on like how okay if it's happening in the club then um, is it also happening maybe in the city? So um, how what is the feeling when you're moving through like a busy central station for example? So Groove Space series is about like the different um, somatic imprints of different cities. So it was in Berlin, it was in Zurich, it was in Freiburg, it was in Jakarta and now in Tokyo. And for us it was something about like when we go, of course, how, don't, how do we actually perceive the city as from a Western point of view and to not to exoticize um, like uh, Tokyo. So we try to make a link between Tokyo, which is, um, you know, the capital in Japan and Düsseldorf, which is the um, kind of has the mo like a biggest population of Japanese uh, residents in Germany. And um, so what are similarities in both cities? So what actually what is similar with from both cities and not what is different? So not going against like, OK, to define each other through the um, difference, but through kind of a common commonality. So we looked at spaces um, uh, which were similar or like had a similar feeling in Düsseldorf and in Tokyo and these were kind of our starting points for this, for this work. I see performance and choreography as an offer and the audience, um, however the audience will take this offer, this will color the piece and will color the performance of that night and groove space is actually something um, that is not just about the groove of the city or the groove of us as artists but also the groove of the night that we were here together in the space. It's about this performative assembly of that one night and the audience is um, is kind of like a party um, and it's guests. If the guests are um, making certain choices then the party will be fun or if the guests are a little bit tired then the party will be tired. It, but it doesn't mean it's a worse or better party, it's just going to have a different color. So for me audience in this series is it has the same importance um, through the uh, or to the development and the creation of the performance as um, the performers or the sound artists or the space or or me. So we're all. Actually, that's very clear. It was very clear in today's performance. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.